Mostly strangers, they came together to watch Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's message to Canada. Please close the sky. I know he's begging for air support, and I really wish that there was some way that we could do that, you know, because it's so desperate. He wants Ukraine to be an independent country, our own country, without the fear of being bombed. So. I salute President Zelensky, he's, he's a national hero. In Ottawa, these women were rolling and pinching and boiling ahead of a fundraiser for humanitarian efforts. Russian bombs. But they stopped making pierogies when Zelensky began his speech. Taking that step to actually, you know, declare the no-fly zone and, and actually putting our country into the whole fray is, it's, it's frightening. It's frightening for everybody as well. But on the other hand, doing nothing is even more frightening. Across the country, at home and at work, those with ties to Ukraine stopped what they were doing to watch. Helena Stoiko came to Winnipeg from Ukraine as a teenager and still has family there. Zelensky's passionate and personal plea had her in tears, thinking of her own children safely in Canada. 97 children that are being killed right now, they're, they are the shield for the rest of the world. Putin is a bully and you have to stand up to a bully. Ihor Michael Chishin was in the House of Commons gallery for the speech. We can't walk away. You know, as, as difficult as this will get, Canada needs to be there for Ukraine in, the, in this war, to win this war. While the politicians work on that, one thing these women say they can do is pray. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.